In this video, we are going to see about inguinal triangle, also known as Hesselbach's triangle. Location: It is situated deep to posterior wall of inguinal canal. Situated deep to posterior wall of inguinal canal. It is seen on inner aspect of lower part of anterior abdominal wall. On inner aspect of lower part of anterior abdominal wall. Boundaries. Medially, lower 5 cm of lateral border of rectus abdominis muscle. Lower 5 cm of lateral border of rectus abdominis. Laterally, inferior epigastric artery. You can see laterally, inferior epigastric artery. Inferiorly, medial half of inguinal ligament. Floor, it is covered by peritoneum, extra peritoneal connective tissue and fascia transversalis between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle inguinal ligament is present over the pubis rectus abdominis muscle is present medial boundary is formed by lower 5 cm of lateral border of rectus abdominis muscle lateral boundary is formed by inferior epigastric artery Inferiorly, medial half of inguinal ligament. This triangle is divided into two parts by medial umbilical ligament. This is medial umbilical ligament. It is obliterated umbilical artery. Remember Amul. Obliterated umbilical artery. Medial umbilical ligament. This is medial part. Lateral part. Medial part of the triangle is strengthened by conjoint tendon. Lateral part of this triangle is weak. Hence, direct hernia usually occurs through, through lateral part of this triangle. If the inguinal hernia occurs medial to inferior epigastric artery, then it is direct hernia. If it occurs lateral to inferior epigastric artery, it is indirect inguinal hernia.